Hello there, travelers and explorers. Ray here, your virtual guide to the most fascinating places on Earth. Today, we are setting our sights on the captivating region of Tripura, India. Nestled in the northeastern corner of the country, Tripura is a treasure trove of cultural heritage, natural beauty and historical monuments. It's a place where the past meets the present and where the natural world intertwines seamlessly with human ingenuity. In this video, we're going to dive into five must-visit spots in Tripura. We'll explore the enigmatic rock carvings of Unakoti Hill, the architectural marvel of Nirmahal, the regal grandeur of Ujjayanta Palace, and the breathtaking views from Jampui Hill. Each place holds its own unique charm and story, waiting to be discovered and savored. So, are you ready for the adventure? Pack your virtual bags as we embark on an exciting journey to the unseen corners of Tripura. Our first stop, the enigmatic Unakoti Hill, a treasure trove of ancient rock carvings. As we delve into the heart of Tripura, Unakoti Hill emerges as a captivating landmark, its aura steeped in the richness of history and culture. Unakoti Hill, often referred to as India's Lost Mountain of Gods, holds a special significance in the annals of Indian history. Its name, Unakoti, translates to one less than a crore and it's believed to house almost 10 million rock carvings and murals each more fascinating than the last. These carvings are not just artistic expressions, they are narrative threads woven into the cultural fabric of ancient India. The hill is a sprawling canvas of stone where legends and myths come alive in the form of intricate carvings. One can't help but marvel at the craftsmanship of artisans who lived centuries ago, their legacy etched in stone for eternity. The main attractions here include the colossal central Shiva head, known as the Unakutiswara Kalbhairava, and the gigantic Ganesha figures. The central Shiva head stands tall, a remarkable display of ancient sculptural prowess. It is surrounded by a host of smaller carvings, each narrating a tale from the rich tapestry of Hindu mythology. The gigantic Ganesha figures, on the other hand, are a sight to behold. They are so large that they seem to merge with the hill itself, becoming one with nature. These figures, along with the other carvings, lend a mystical allure to Unakoti Hill, making it a must-visit for anyone with an interest in history, art or spirituality. But Unakoti Hill is more than just an archaeological site. It is a testament to India's rich past, a symbol of the country's cultural heritage. As we traverse the hill, we're not just exploring a tourist spot, we're stepping back in time, reliving the stories that have helped shape India's identity. Truly, Unakoti Hill is an archaeological wonder that stands as a testament to India's rich past. Next up, we have Nirmahal, an exquisite water palace that floats gracefully on Rudrasagar Lake. This architectural marvel is a testament to the grandeur of bygone eras, a symbol of royal extravagance nestled in the heart of Tripura. The story of Nirmahal begins in the early 20th century. Conceived and commissioned by the visionary Maharaja Bir Bikram Kishore Manikya. This grand palace was built as a summer retreat, a place where the king could escape the heat and indulge in leisurely pursuits. The construction took a span of nine years, from 1930 to 1938, a testament to the tremendous effort and intricate planning that went into creating this masterpiece. Nir Mahal is the largest water palace in India, a crown jewel that sets Tripura apart on the tourism map. It sprawls over a staggering square area of 533,000 square feet, a size that can make anyone gasp in awe. The palace is divided into two parts, the eastern side or the Andar Mahal, reserved for the royal family and the western side open for cultural events and public gatherings. The architecture of Nir Mahal is a fascinating blend of Hindu and Muslim styles, a harmonious fusion that reflects the inclusive spirit of the kingdom. The palace boasts of a total of 24 rooms, along with two large halls. The towers and domes showcase the Islamic architectural influence, while the balustrades and pavilions mirror the Hindu Rajput style. The palace is surrounded by the serene Rudrasagar Lake, adding to its captivating charm. The lake also serves as a natural defense mechanism, an ingenious strategy of the ancient times. Today, Nir Mahal stands tall, a symbol of the past's glory and the present's pride. It's more than just a historical monument. It's a testament to the rich cultural heritage and architectural prowess of Tripura. With its mesmerizing beauty, Nir Mahal surely redefines the concept of royal living. Now, let's step into the grandeur of Ujjayanta Palace, a crown jewel of Agartala. 
Imagine a palace that is a sparkling testament to the architectural brilliance of yesteryears. That's Ujjayanta Palace for you, a name that stands for the Palace of Victory. This remarkable edifice, set against the serene backdrop of Agartala, is a sight to behold. Constructed by the Manikya dynasty, Ujjayanta Palace is a symbol of royal opulence and grandeur. The palace's design is inspired by both Mughal and Greek architectural styles, a blend that creates a unique and stunning aesthetic. Its gleaming white facade is complemented by domes, arches and terraces, all intricately carved, creating a visual spectacle that leaves viewers spellbound. But the beauty of Ujjayanta Palace isn't just in its architecture. The palace is surrounded by sprawling Mughal gardens, a spectacle of lush greenery that stretches as far as the eye can see. These gardens, with their perfectly manicured lawns and blooming flowers, add to the palace's allure, making it a paradise for nature lovers. Beyond its architectural beauty and verdant gardens, Ujjayanta Palace holds immense historical significance. It served as the royal abode of the Tripura kings until the mid-20th century. Today, it has been repurposed into a museum, preserving and showcasing the rich culture and history of the region. As you wander through the palace's galleries, you'll be transported back in time. The museum houses a vast collection of artifacts, including traditional art, textiles, utensils and musical instruments, all telling the story of the people of Northeast India. Each exhibit offers a glimpse into the lifestyle, arts, culture, tradition and utility crafts of communities that have thrived in this part of the country for centuries. As we wrap up our tour of Ujjayanta Palace, it's clear that it's more than just a historical monument. It's a beacon of cultural heritage, a testament to the grandeur of the past and a symbol of Tripura's enduring spirit. Ujjayanta Palace a royal spectacle that beautifully encapsulates the essence of Tripura. Finally, we reach the serene heights of Jampui Hill, Tripura's highest peak. This gem of Northeast India is more than just an elevation on a topographic map. It's a treasure trove of natural beauty, a sanctuary for peace seekers, and a testament to the wonders that Mother Nature can create. Jampui Hill, often referred to as the Orange Hill Town, is a living palette of vibrant hues. Here, the air is sweet with the scent of blooming orange orchards that stretch as far as the eye can see. Imagine walking through the rows of these orchards, the ground beneath your feet carpeted with fallen orange blossoms, their sweet fragrance filling your senses. It's an experience that's as refreshing as it is unique. And just when you think you've seen all that Jampui Hill has to offer, you're treated to a visual spectacle that leaves you spellbound. Picture this. The first rays of the morning sun piercing the veil of darkness, bathing the hill in a golden glow. As evening falls, the setting sun paints the sky in shades of red and orange, adding another layer of charm to this picturesque landscape. It's a sight that's as mesmerizing as it is humbling. But Jampui Hill isn't just about scenic beauty. It's also a place that echoes with stories of the past. Did you know that this hill is home to the Reng and Lushai tribes, each with its own rich culture and traditions? Just another reason why a visit to Jampui Hill is like stepping into a world where nature and culture intertwine. Yet amidst all this, there's a sense of calm that pervades Jampui Hill. It's a place that invites you to slow down, to breathe in the freshness of the air, to listen to the whispers of the wind, and to lose yourself in the beauty of the moment. It's this serenity that makes Jampui Hill more than just a tourist spot. It's a sanctuary. A retreat from the fast-paced rhythm of city life. Jampui Hill, a slice of heaven that offers a refreshing retreat from the hustle and bustle of city life. And with that, we conclude our virtual journey through the enchanting landscapes of Tripura. We've journeyed through the rich history and breathtaking beauty of Unakoti Hill, with its ancient rock carvings whispering tales from the past. We've drifted across the serene waters surrounding Nir Mahal, the water palace that stands as a testament to the architectural prowess of the bygone era. We've marveled at the grandeur of Ujjayanta Palace, a royal reminder of Tripura's regal heritage. We've also savored the tranquility of Jampui Hill, a verdant paradise that offers a feast for the senses with its vibrant hues and lush landscapes. Each of these gems offers a slice of Tripura's unique culture, history and natural beauty, waiting to be discovered and appreciated. So why not pack your bags and let your wanderlust guide you to these captivating corners of Tripura?
Until next time, this is Ray, your virtual guide, signing off. Stay curious, stay adventurous. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more travel guides.